Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway. Brought to you by Paramount Residential Mortgage Group. In today's mortgage environment, providing our wholesale community with the best combination of product, pricing, technology, and service is paramount to their success. PRMG, built by originators for originators. Welcome to another edition of Master the Markets. I'm Barry Habib, MBS Highway. This is created exclusively for Mortgage News Network, and it's brought to you by our good friends at PRMG. They're working for your best interest. Taking a look back at last week, it was really a crazier week for stocks than bonds, so the activity in mortgage bonds calmed down a little bit, which is a big welcome sigh of relief for us, but we're not out of the woods quite yet. So stocks did take a tumble last week, but what was interesting was that on Thursday, they had broken underneath a very important floor of support. That's their 200-day moving average, which means let's the, take the last 200-day close days of closing prices, average them out, and there's a line there for that. When you break underneath that, that's a very important support because remember, a lot of the trading done, is done uh, with technical analysis like this. So a lot of the traders already program themselves so that uh, the buy orders are put in when prices hit the 200-day moving average. It's deemed to be a good point to buy, so you oftentimes see a bounce. But the selling in stocks was so overwhelming that even with that program trading, prices broke underneath that floor. Now that floor becomes a new ceiling. What was very interesting was the tug of war that is currently taking place right at that level in the S&P 500. Now this will be very important for us because if stock prices cannot break above that level, well then you'll probably see some additional selling and then mortgage bonds and treasuries will be the beneficiaries because that will be a sign that, hey, let's take some money out of stocks, park it in the bond market. That would be good for us. But if we see that there's a convincing break probably this week, above that 200-day moving average in the S&P, well, then a lot of traders will say, hey, you know what happened? We had a big tumble. That became a buying opportunity. We've seen this so many times before, where you get the correction, good time to buy, prices go back up, you make big profits. Where are we gonna get some of that money from? Well, let's pull it out of the bond market. So therefore, what we have to be careful of is if we see a convincing move back above the 200-day moving average in the S&P, that's not gonna be too good for the bond market in general. Last week, we got some reasonably good inflation data, lower inflation, and bonds seem to like that a little bit. We didn't get too much of a move. Remember this, people are more timid now because the game is no longer rigged. We have the Fed in there buying with both fists. We don't have that anymore. Now, other news we'll get this week will be housing related, and that's always important. So we'll get back to you next week and tell you how we did housing news. But listen, I am getting a little more concerned with the housing market, not saying that home prices decline, but I'm concerned that a lot of people are getting payment shock. You know, someone who purchased their home a few years ago has seen that home go up in value, but now if they want to move up to the next category, that's an even higher purchase price, which means a higher mortgage, and then their rate that they'd be giving up at the lower mortgage payment uh, dollar amount because the uh, mortgage amount was lower is going from somewhere around four or three and seven eighths or three, whatever it was to something in the 5% arena right now. So you get the double whammy, bigger mortgage, higher rate, a little payment shock, and people are really kind of taking a step back. We really have to analyze their debts and see if we can restructure them to get them in that home uh, because they already want to do it. We just have to give them permission to do so. All right, what do we do as far as interest rates this week? Again, a couple of levels for us to watch. 319 on the 10-year treasury is going to be important. 325 is a really important line of the cent. A break above 3.25 and man, oh man, it's going to get a little ugly, so let's hope that that level holds for a little bit. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to MBS Highway. We have navigated through these waters beautifully. You've seen me tell you guys exactly end of September what was the title of the of the of the video. It was window of opportunity. What did we get? We got a window of opportunity that week. You saw rates drop. Then the next one was brace for higher rates, and what did we get? We got higher rates. So we've been doing this for a long time. We do it every day with our customers. Uh, this is a big money business for you. You need to be doing a really good job as an advisor now more than ever. Okay, it's, uh, it's really important to protect your business. We'll help you do that. Hope you guys have a great week. See you next week. Bye-bye. PRMG continues to provide our wholesale partners across the nation with better technology, better product, 
better pricing, and better service. Our nationally recognized brand is more than just an image. It is a symbol of integrity. PRMG, built by originators for originators. Be sure to click on the link below for your free 30-day MBS highway trial. This is Mortgage News Network.